Hello everyone, today I am back on my own personal server, just for my channel. And as you can see, I am back at my house. It's there, it's there in the background. So, last episode, if no one saw, I went off exploring into the mountains, and I found, get this, a pink sheep. So, for those of you who haven't seen the first few, ep like the first seven episodes of my series, where I was in my, like, in my first part, I accidentally deleted a world because I didn't know I could go back to 1.8. So, now I'm doing a new part to the series in 1.9. So, I went over there, found a pink sheep, and I also got some eggs and a black sheep. Now, they're living with us. Because I got Alfred back. And Jeff is the pink sheep, but I do not have a name for this guy right here. So leave down in the comment section what you think I should name him. And I will work on getting three name tags off camera after this episode to try and name them all. Because I don't want them despawning. So every time I get a new pet like one of them, I'm going to get a name tag off camera. Just remember that. And I also built this little enclosure just in case something happens and they get out. So, they, so like, say I accidentally break down the door or something, and then they're safe. So I haven't been here in a while, and I haven't been on this game in a while because I've been too busy with Mindplex and other stuff. So, I, so what I'm going to first be trying to do is make an animal. Because that's how I need the name tags to be changed. Whoops, wrong thing. Okay. Might have been a bit too much. I just can't believe I actually had enough iron for this. Like, like for some reason I keep thinking that anvils are worth much more than the iron that you use for them. And I feel good that it's 31 iron instead of something crazy. So I've got that, and I've got fishing rods in the other chest. And I've got my phone next to me just in case I need to look something up. And you know what? I'm just gonna look something up right now. And while I do that quickly, like, I don't know how to pause videos because I'm a noob when it comes to recording stuff like this. But right now I'm actually kind of thinking up names for this guy if I can. But I, but I just can't. Right now I'm just looking up name tag Minecraft just to see if I can craft it. Because I have absolutely no idea. And now that I think about it, I should do one point because that's the version I'm in. Well, 1.10.2. Okay, so I'm going on the wiki now. Just seeing if I've... Oh, right, I do need to fix this stuff. I should probably do that. So I'm not just being a total bum and just making everyone watching this just have to sit through me just doing nothing. So now that I have that going... Okay, so stackable, yes. It's not what I need. Taint it. Okay. Okay, it literally says nothing on how you get it. That is really, really pathetic. Wait, it says obtaining. Okay, natural generation. Aim tags can be found in 29% of dungeon chests. And 42.3% of chests, minecarts, and abandoned mine shafts. And I can find them in stacks of one. Fishing as part of the treasure category. And trading 20 to 22 emeralds as tier 6 trade. I mean trade, not trade. Whatever that would mean. So apparently I'm going to be fishing. Completely forgot it was not peaceful. And you know what? Now that I have shear, you know what? I, I just can't shear them. It feels wrong just to shear my friends. Do I have any wood? 
Okay, I have a log. That's good. I'm so glad they made wool craftable. The bad part about this, I have nowhere good in my house to put the bed. So you know what? I'll just put it right here and go to bed. I'm so glad I can see all of my friends though. I I really need a name for that guy because it feels awkward just having him now without having a name for. So the first two names I'm definitely gonna name Jeff first because he was the first one that I actually found, and then Alfred because I well he's the only one I actually would know the name for that isn't Jeff. I'm so glad I have an unbreaking three fishing rod. Without it, getting a name tag would be almost impossible because I would need so much stuff and I only have one piece of string left. Darn you, zombie. That's what you get. You know what? That area wasn't really significant anyway. I honestly don't care unless it was like almost fully grown like this one stitch. Oh my god, really? This is terrible. I mean, I'm sorry that this episode is always a bit boring, but I wasn't planning on doing anything because I could have brought all the animals back as part of the episode, but that would have taken too long, and I and I just don't even think I probably could have because that would take up like 10 minutes of the episode, and it would have been kind of awkward considering I was actually talking to the sheep. That's right, I was talking to them. It may be a sign of insanity, but I don't think so. And that's usually a problem. If I'm the only one who doesn't think so. Because <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to agree with me that it's not a sign of being insane. And I've just confused myself because... Because sometimes I just talk to myself. Well, I guess I'm not really talking to myself, but I kind of am. Because I'm alone. Because I have no friends. <laughs> But like when I just talk to myself sometimes in videos like this one, it's just like I can confuse myself just by saying something like not and then just get myself entirely confused on if I'm saying something right or not. Just hoping for a name tag though. That's Well, two name tags. And then a third one if I'm lucky. Because I have nothing planned for this episode so I might as well, I guess. Yes. So I'm not going to be fishing this whole episode, don't worry. Because I see that the video is right now at 8 minutes and counting. And I'm not going to make it like a 25 minute video of me just fishing. Because that would just be boring. And I am actually glad that I got that. Oh, come on. And I'm glad that I got that, bl that black sheep because... Oh my god, I just got a name for him. So leave down names in the comment section. I might be choosing a name from there. But a good name that I'm thinking of right now is something like Baba Black Sheep. So if you can't think up a name for that sheep, then just tell me if Baba Black Sheep's a good idea. Okay, there's no zombie. Good. If there wasn't, this would be so annoying to fish. Okay, now it's just getting creepy because I don't know where he is. Come on. Come on, name tags. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Darn it! I hate how it floats in the air so much. It's like, why does it do that? Okay, this doesn't do anything. For a second, I thought it might. Come on, fish, take a nibble. I need your... Well, not fish, name tags. But still, take a nibble if it's possible. I don't think they like it. Oh, wait, someone's coming. Darn it! Should have waited. I'm so impatient sometimes. I could never go fishing in real life, though, for two reasons. One, it hurts fish mouths, and they usually would die. And two, it just feels inhumane to catch them and either eat them or just, like, throw them back with 
an injury in their mouth. Like, I know you can fish using clamps, and that doesn't hurt their mouth. Because, like, they clamp on their tongue. Like, when they bite, it clamps their tongue. But it still just feels wrong fishing to me. Like, I'm not trying to make fishing bad for anybody who actually does it. Because for those who know Baka King, he actually does fish. And I have no problem with people who fish. It's just, like, the concept of them having to get hurt in the process. That's the only thing that turns me off of fishing. Like, if somebody were to make me go hunting for animals, like, with an actual gun, I wouldn't be able to for three reasons. One, I don't have a license. Two, I'm probably too young to get a license and use a gun. And three, I don't like killing animals. Ooh, a puffer fish. I would eat it if it wasn't deadly. I feel like in Minecraft there should be a recipe, though, that, like, Let's you actually, like, you should be able to combine a puffer fish with a sword and a piece of coal. And maybe something like, like some wheat or something that lets it not be poisonous and actually gives you, like, regeneration one for a few seconds. And that's just a little tip. Because that would actually be good. Because that would make it much more useful than just being poisonous. Or good for people for making people happy if somebody likes puffer fish. I mean, I like puffer fish. And look at it. It's screaming. It's screaming my name. And just 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 look at it right now. It's screaming. I'm getting a bit of lag. Like like for some reason, I was actually getting lag earlier on my computer, and I didn't know what was happening. But then I found out that my that like my computer charger wasn't fully in, so I plugged it in fully, and then pretty much all the lag subsided. And I was literally just sitting on Mineplex hoping for the lag to stop, and that's what happened. I pretty much just wasted like twenty minutes of my life wondering why there was lag, only to find that I had to plug in my computer. And this is going to be the last fish I get. Then I'm probably going to get some resources in the cave. And fishing is all about being patient. Come on, you stupid fish. Get on my get on my fishing hook. I need you to get on. And please be a name tag. I need to name those animals in there. Darn it, a fish. I mean, it's not bad. It's good for food. But it's, like, super boring. Okay, is auto jump on? Control. Nope, auto jump is off. I hate auto jump so much. Usually when I just, like, go into 1.10, like, like, all it does is just it's always activated. It should be off constantly. Until you make it go off. Because that would be much better. And I would collect my wheat, but I'm not going to because I have lag. Like, usually you only collect wheat when you don't have lag. Otherwise, it'll just break everything. I know from experience. Okay, put this stuff in. Need this. Wait a minute. A seed and some... And you get that. I'll take some of this. Oops. Some of this. And you get wheat. And I'm not going to make a baby because I don't want to just yet. I have nothing against baby sheep. It's just I do not need one right now. Okay, now where's the picket? Okay. And I think I'm all good to go. Wait, what? So I have to make some. I'm just going to be honest right now. I do need this stuff. But I'm also trying to waste time so that the effect will go off. Because to be honest, I just don't want them reading right now. It'll complicate things. Now you get wheat. And now everyone's at full health and is happy. 
not saying anyone took damage, but if any of them did, now they're healed. And I feel happy. Because they all got love hearts above their head. Which means they love me and they're my best buds. And because I haven't been, like, oh no. Like, I haven't been in 1.9 and 1.10 combat. So to be honest, I'm kind of a noob at it. And with lag, it's even worse because I have to just keep clicking or else I'll die. And that makes it very bad for me. But sometimes I just don't know how mobs spawn. I don't know how I missed this iron. Like, sometimes mobs just spawn when it's like... I don't know why I'm just collecting this while fighting him. I feel kind of skilled though, I'm not gonna lie. It was like I'm fighting a mob while getting something, so it's like so it's like you're fighting the ender dragon and the wither at the same time. Wait a minute, that's actually not a bad idea. Okay, now I'm just sounding stupid because that would be terrible. Like first they'd have to kill the wither and while the ender dragon's like dealing additional damage. But you know what? Leave down in the comment section if I should do that. Although it'll be a stupid thing to do, I'll do it if you guys want me to. Because let's face it, it's awesome to fight them both at the same time. I don't think anyone would do that. Not even, like, even, like, if this was hardcore mode, there's no way I would do it. Because I wouldn't want to, like, have this series over fighting both of the Minecraft bosses. Although that would be a cool way to end it, even if I did die. So that's like, the series is over, but I died in an awesome way. Great, there's so much junk, I don't even, like, like I just don't like collecting diorite, granite, gravel, etc. Because it's like, a useless material. Unless, of course, you're trying to decorate your house and stuff. And I'm not trying to decorate my house right now, I'm trying to fortify it. So that my sheep and my chicken don't die. I love them. Okay. Like, like I'm just going to be honest right now. They're pretty much like my... Like, they're going to be my pets. And if, say, a creeper gets in my house, I will literally just, like, run for my life outside of the house. Just so that they don't die. But actually, I'd be really sad if a creeper got in my house because it would blow up my house and hurt my pets horribly. And I wouldn't want that for them because they don't deserve it. And I know taking them in is something that could actually get them killed faster because when they're out in the wild, they can't get hurt by mobs. But they do have a chance to despawn. And that's something I'm not going to risk. Yay, cool. Too bad my pickaxe is gonna break in. Wait a minute, when is it gonna break? Three, two, one, break. Well, it looks like I've got enough materials from here to last for a bit longer. Probably is getting up because it's I never remember where okay, there it is. I don't know how I sometimes forget where it is if I go somewhere. And I know that that hole right there actually has some like a, a bunch of stuff down there but for now i just need to collect stuff from this area until i know it's like it's a giant opening with nothing left like i just eliminate every resource if i see iron right now i'm gonna be so upset because like what am i gonna do i have no pickaxe and i have to literally go up to my house and chances are i'm not gonna have enough stuff and right now I'm feeling like I should build a better exit to here. Because it doesn't look like a good exit to me right now. Yeah, now it's really not looking so good. Okay, I'm Tarzan. Ow. I don't think Tarzan had a problem like that in his life. Well, maybe he did as a kid. You know, what was that? Let's take this out. up. Put it 
this out. Oops. And cook it up. And the only reason I just used that wood plank and that stick, I won't need them. I mean, I will need that stick and possibly that wood plank. But it's not like it's going to affect my life right now. It's like... I mean, it's like the whole world could be different if I didn't use it. But it's like everything I'm doing now in a, in a different dimension, I could be doing th that it's a different way. Instead of bringing all of these animals home, I might not have in a different dimension. Oh, wait, Alfred grew up. I just noticed this. I love you, Alfred. You're so cute. I mean, you were cute as a baby, and so were Jeff and you. But... All of you, you're so cute. I don't know why I'm talking like this right now, especially when in the middle of a recording. Like, just to be honest, I love Minecraft animals, except for some modded ones and some of them in a resource pack. Like a pink sheep in a certain resource pack, I don't know the name of it because I don't use them. Unless, of course, it's like from Mineplex or Hypixel, but anyways. Like, like the sheep faces in a certain texture pack, I don't know the name of it. For some reason, and I'm saying it like they just look ugly to me. So a pink sheep was still have, like maybe cuteness to it, but I haven't seen one. I've only seen like these, like sheep like you, like more normal spawning ones. And I hear a spider, and it scares me because I don't know where it is. Wait a minute. This is why I got this roof. No, I do not see it up there, so that scares me a lot. Oh my god, the cat. But I am gonna end the episode here, everyone. And I, I know it's like there's nothing going on right now, and that's kind of why I'm ending it. So I hope you all enjoyed, and remember, tell me what you think his name should be, or should I name him Baba Black Sheep? So that is up to everyone in the comment section. I might choose your idea, and I will tell everyone whose idea I chose. Because, let's face it, it would be rude to choose someone's idea. And some, like, I'll just say who wrote it, because multiple people could have the same idea, and it would be unfair just to say a certain name. And others could be just like, hey, I said that. And it's like, no, you didn't. You, or you didn't say anything at all. So I hope you all enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I will, we will see you all next time. Goodbye.